In this video, I'm gonna talk about a cheap and underrated 50mm lens for the Leica M system. There are a lot of good reviews about Canon LTM lenses, especially the 50mm f0.95 or the Dream lens and also the 50mm f1.4 also known as the Japanese Samilux. First of all you need the LTM to L mount adapter to use this lens on your Leica M mount camera. You can find these adapters cheap on eBay but you have to buy the right one for your focal length. When I picked up my Leica M3, I started looking for a lightweight and cheap 50mm lens to take on a street photo box where I need more depth of field and uh, no super fast aperture because of the available light. I was uh, lucky that uh, I could find this Canon LTM 50mm f1.8 lens in a very good condition for less than 150 US dollars. Here is my first impressions after around 5 months of use on my Leica M3 and also on my M240. When it comes to build quality, I have to say that it is uh, lower than Leica, Voigtlander and even TTR on lenses. The aperturing is not loose, but uh, it doesn't have the solid clicks that uh, you'd expect from a Leica lens. And uh, also when I uh, shake the lens, it seems that its inner components are not rock solid as you expect from a Leica lens, so uh, keep that in mind. The focus ring is made of metal and uh, it is wide enough to work with, so the lens gets an overall pass uh, but uh, there are three annoying things uh, about this lens uh, one the aperture and focus ring are very close to each other and uh, with no focus tab it is easy to accidentally change the focus when changing the aperture the second thing is that the distance scale is only in feet instead of meters and for someone like me who has always worked with the metric system it was a little difficult to zone focus at first however uh, I keep in mind that I have to divide the number by 3 to roughly convert it to meters and then it, it becomes easy again. Finally, there is the infinity lock which is uh, both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, you can uh, use it like a focus tab that uh, actually helps a lot. But uh, for some reason, I uh, always find it locked and um, when my eyes on the viewfinder in the field, it's not easy to unlock it without losing a few seconds. When it comes to sharpness, again there are some compromises. At uh, f1.8 uh, the center is less than ideal and the contrast is somehow low but uh, when you stop down to f2.8 it quickly catches up and becomes good enough. The corners however remain unsharp up to f8 and uh, after that it's good enough. I did also uh, test the lens on a heavily backlit subject to see how much uh, color fringing it, it has and uh, to be honest it is uh, much better than I expected at f1.8 and it improves very very fast and at f4 it becomes really good.
I also tried the lens for a backlit portrait and I noticed this weird artifact that of course only happens at f1.8 and when you stop down the lens it goes away immediately. Finally, I did a couple of test shots to show the bokeh. And while it is capable of producing nice bokeh balls, you can see cat's eye and other imperfections. Here you can see the bokeh from TT Artisan 50mm at f0.95. And in my opinion, it is more pleasing than the Canon. And even if you stop down the TT Artisan to f1.8, you can see uh, there is uh, no cat's eye, but it seems that the bokeh balls have some uh, polygonal edges. With all this said, uh, I think the sharpness stopped down a little is totally acceptable, and color fringing is okay, and can always be fixed in the post and of course the book is acceptable so while i wouldn't recommend it as your main lens uh, i think i'm gonna keep it for myself as a backup to my uh, tt artisan 50 millimeter i think this lens can do the job especially for less demanding things like a street and day-to-day -day photography here are some of my shots on Leica M240 and uh, to my surprise I think uh, it's good enough on this 24 megapixel digital camera. In this photo you can see that the lens shows a lot of artifacts when pointed to the sun. Here are some of my film shots with this lens and Leica M3. And when it comes to film photography, again while not perfect, it is uh, definitely usable especially if your style of shooting is to stop the lens down for more depth of field. Finally, I want to thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions, ask me in the comment section. Also, feel free to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram.